Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a drugstore makeup tutorial. I asked you guys, well I've been asking you guys a few times what kind of looks you want me to do on my channel, and I've gotten quite a few comments that you guys want to see me do more 100% drugstore tutorials, and I don't think I've done one in a really long time. This is good timing because I just got a huge PR box from Pixie Beauty about two weeks ago of all of the collabs, I think with four different people, YouTubers or just social media influencers, beauty bloggers, and I decided this video would be a good time to test these products out. So there's a collab with It's Judy Time on YouTube, which is one of the first people that I subscribed to, which was really cool. And then there's some different things with Miriam Maquillage. I don't know if I said that right. And then Aspen Ovard has a few things. And then there's a skincare thing that I'm not going to use in this video because obviously I'm not going to do my skincare. So I ended up kind of doing this dark reddish rusty brownish eye using the It's Judy Time eyeshadow palette. So if you guys want to know how to get this look and if you want to know my thoughts on these collaborations with Pixie Beauty, then just keep watching. By the way, this is not sponsored. Just so you know. Okay, so I've been downsizing my makeup a lot. Well, not a lot, but I've been trying and I only have a few drugstore foundations. This one is the NYX BB Cream. It is so dirty. I've had it for so long. But this is in the color Nude. It's the lightest one. I actually really like this. I'm not a huge fan of BB creams, but this one is actually pretty good. So I'm just applying this with one of these really cheap... What are these called? Oh, my makeup brush set brushes. I always forget the name. This is actually a pretty full coverage BB cream in terms of BB creams. They're usually really, really lightweight, almost like a tinted moisturizer. But this one I feel like has a good enough coverage so I don't have to like pile a lot of it on. Look at this, by the way. Where the hell did that come from and can it go back to hell, actually? I never get zits on my cheek or like that area of my face, so I woke up one day and I was like, is this my life now? But it has been hanging on for like a week and it is not uh, making any plans to pack up and leave, apparently. I was going to try to use all drugstore tools too, like sponges and brushes and stuff, but I realized that I don't have as many drugstore brushes as I thought I did, at least not eye brushes, so... I guess I'm going to have to use some of my more like high-end ones. I just realized I only have three drugstore concealers anymore and none of them are good for like highlighting the under eye area, but we're just going to try them anyways. I'm going to first go in with this Brightening Peach Concealer by Pixi. I've had this for a while. It's just a really like light muted salmon color, so it's not too overwhelming. I just like to use this to like really slightly color correct these dark circles. I just realized I had mustard on the corner of my mouth. <laughs> So the only other concealer I have is the J-Cat Contour Quad Spectrum Palette. So it has these contour shades and then the highlights. I've talked about this before a little bit. Um, I like these to cover my zits, but I'm going to put these like under my eye too to go over the top of that like salmon concealer and kind of brighten it up a little bit. I feel like this is way too thick to use in this area, but you know what? I'm going to have to work with it today. Man, I need more drugstore concealer. What do you guys like? I really liked the Maybelline... Was it the Master Conceal? That is like my favorite drugstore concealer, but I haven't tried any new ones for a really long time. I also really like the NYX HD one, but they go, they just run out so fast I feel like. So definitely let me know what concealers I should try out next in the comments and I will go do some shopping. Okay, so now I'm gonna go around and just use these concealers on my spots, which is what I would definitely suggest you use this concealer for. Like I said, it's not great under the eyes, but it's pretty good at counseling out like any blemishes or redness. Okay, so for setting powder, I'm going to take my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. I've had this for a while, but for some reason I just never remember to use it. I think I like it though. It, I think it has a little bit of flashback, like if you use flash photography, you might see it show up on your face. Oh, I always inhale it! Oh my god, that was wonderful. Anyways, just setting my under eyes, using my sponge, and it's actually working pretty well with that. And then I'm going to go over any areas that I used a lot of concealer, like this nose, upper lip area, this guy, chin, and a little bit on my forehead. Okay, so I have a few different palettes from Pixie Beauty. They collabed with a few different YouTubers and like beauty bloggers, and I think I'm going to use this Miriam. I don't know who this is, and I think I'm the only person who probably doesn't know who this person is. Uh, Miriam Maquillage? Is that her name? I don't know, I'm gonna have to look her up because I feel like an idiot right now. Um, but she came out with an, like a strobing contouring palette and then a, wait, what are these actually called? Highlight and contour palette and then glow and bronze palette. So we got like the warmer, like bronzers with the glowy highlights. These are all gonna be too dark for me. And then we have like this 
chiseling like contour palette with some lighter highlights. So I think I'm going to go in with this middle contour right here. I swatched these on Snapchat a while back and this one actually looks like it's going to be pretty good on my skin. I haven't tried it yet so we shall see. And this is a little brush that came with it. It actually looks really nice. I have used this. I just remembered. I liked it. I can't remember which side I used though. I'm going to use this side. So we're going to take this one. It's the coolest toned one in the palette so I feel like this is the best bet. Okay, so so far this looks pretty good. It is really pigmented, so make sure you don't get too much on your brush. But it blends out really nicely. And I really like this brush, actually. It does a really good job of blending. I'd say it's not super cool toned, but it's not super warm toned, so I think this looks really good on fair skin. I'm gonna try this side of the brush. See how that works. It's a little more dense and tapered. And I like dense, tapered brushes for contouring because I feel like it doesn't blow it out too far. I don't know which end I prefer. I might prefer this chubbier end. Just gonna take a little bit under my jaw and a little bit around the hairline. Okay, so I'm done contouring. I really, really like that shade. I just don't think I'm gonna use either one of these. This one looks way too dark. That one looks a little bit shimmery, which I don't like shimmery bronzers. And then I think these are gonna be too dark as well. I didn't even realize. I forgot they have a setting powder in here. I could've used that under my eyes. Dang it but it looks a little bit dark too. So I'm really excited about this next product that I'm gonna show you guys. This is from the Aspen Ovard collaboration with Pixi. There's two highlighters. I love these both. I swatched both of them on my hands and they are so glowy and so bright. I'm just gonna swatch them again so you guys can see. This first one, the lighter one, is called London Luster. It's almost like an icy white, but it has a little bit of a yellow undertone. And this is what it looks like. You can apply a little bit, but you can really build it up and make it extra glowy. And then the slightly darker one is called Santorini Sunset. It's kind of like a light champagne. This would be suitable for like a little bit darker skin tones. So they're both really, really pretty. I don't know which one I want to try. I'm gonna go for the lighter one, London Luster. And I'm just gonna use this side of that brush, which I'm assuming is meant for highlight. Oh, good thing I have zits right on my cheekbone. So nice to accentuate that with highlighter. I don't really like the side of the brush for highlighting, so I'm going to switch to the Sigma highlighter brush. I feel like this just packs it on a little bit better. I put a little bit down my nose and on my cupid's bow. I really like how this looks on the skin. I feel like you do have to spend a little more time blending it out because the formula is a little bit harder than most like really soft buttery highlights, but it looks really, really nice. Just for fun, I'm going to pop the other one on top and see what it looks like. The slightly darker one. Add a little bit more warmth to it. So there is another product in the Aspen collaboration, and this is a blush. It's called Rome Rose. It's called the Glowy Powder, but I don't know if anybody could pull this off as a highlight. It's definitely like a blush color, so I'm going to use it on my cheeks. You guys know I'm really not a huge fan of shimmery blushes, but this one looks pretty. Pretty. It's like a pink, but it has some rose gold reflex in it. So we're going to see how it looks. Just taking this on the Real Techniques Multitask Brush. Just going to blend this in between the contour and the highlight and bring it onto my cheek a little bit. Okay, I actually kind of like this. It's not super crazy pigmented. Another thing in the Aspen collection was this brow tamer. It's just a clear brow gel. I've been really, really loving clear brow gels lately. You guys have probably noticed in my last couple videos. I haven't tried this one yet though, so I'm just gonna brush up my brow hairs. My brows are almost getting to that thickness that I want, but I still need to go through with like a brow powder. But I, wow, I like this. I like it a lot. I just trimmed my brows too, so they look okay. If I didn't trim them, they would have been like an inch long, so. So before I let that brow gel set completely, I'm gonna take this Brow Amazing Duo by Jcat Beauty. It is in the color Hazelnut. I'm just gonna take this on the Smith 205 brush and apply this to the bottom of my brows and then blend it up. And I'm barely taking any product just because I like my brows to look a little more on the natural side. So I just apply the bulk of the product on the bottom half of the brow and then use little flicking motions to simulate hairs. 
Okay, so for the eyes, I'm gonna take this new It's Judy Time eyeshadow palette by Pixi. It's a really pretty neutral palette with some mixes of shimmers and mattes. Here's some swatches of it on my arm. Let me tell you, I've tried Pixi eyeshadows before, and these are way better than their older shadows. They're really creamy, just amazing pigmented eyeshadows. So I'm gonna start with this light tan matte color, and this is called It's Mommy's Life. It's gonna be the transition color, so I'm just gonna apply that right into the crease with a small blending brush. This is the Smith 247. Just gonna apply that back and forth until I get some good color in that crease. And then to blend it out a little bit more, I'm gonna take a larger blending brush. This is the Smith 232, and I'm just gonna blow that out so it's a little more diffused. Next, I'm gonna take this kind of light mauve color called Brick. I guess it's a light brick color that makes more sense. On that same little blending brush, and I'm just gonna concentrate this a little bit lower in the crease so I'm not blending it up as far as that light tan. We're gonna go in with one more color in the crease. I know there's a lot going on up there. This is 2-2, it's a matte kind of purplish brown. And I'm just gonna place this exactly right where I put the other two, but I'm not blending it as far over into the crease. So I'm stopping before I get to the inner eyebrow. For the all over lid color, I'm gonna take Getaway. It's a shimmery reddish bronzy brown purple, I don't really know, it's a really pretty color. And I'm just gonna apply this with a Smith 253. It's a small little packer brush that fits perfectly right on the lid. Just gonna pat this on and it really goes well with the other colors that we have on the lid so far. But I feel like we still need to deepen up that outer V, so I'm gonna take this dark matte brown. I'm just gonna apply that into the outer V area pretty lightly, but enough to make it a little bit deeper out there. Just gonna apply that with a Smith 235 tapered blending brush and then blend that out as I go. So for liner, I'm gonna take this NYX Extreme Coffee Studio Liquid Liner, and I'm just gonna apply this to the first two thirds or so of my lid. I'm not gonna do the wing with this. I'm gonna switch over to a black eyeliner for that. And for that, I'm using the Maybelline Master Precise. So I'm just gonna do the wing really quickly, fill that in, and then blend that into the brown so it's like a gradient liner. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Rimmel London Scandalized Retro Glam, and then I'm gonna apply some fake eyelashes, and these are the Mon Cherie by House of Lashes. I know they're not technically drugstore, but they're still affordable. Gonna move on to the lower lash line, and I'm just basically using everything that we used in the crease. So I'm starting out with a light tan, sweeping that all the way across, and then I'm gonna apply that mauve color, apply it all the way across, just on top of that tan. And then I'm gonna take the dark brown, and I'm just applying this to the outer half of the lower lash line, similar to the upper lid. I'm gonna line my waterline and my tight line, but I'm using a brown instead of a black since we have a lot of browns going on. And this is the Black Cocoa Brown Eyeliner Pencil by Pixi. This sounds like a sponsored Pixi video, but I promise you it's not. Another part of the Aspen collab with Pixi is this lower lash mascara, and I'm telling you guys, it is the best. I like to use this on my upper lashes to blend them in with the fake lashes, but this is literally the best lower lash mascara I've ever tried. I have had this before. It is so thin, like it barely even has a wand on there, but it just separates the lashes so nicely and it never leaves any clumps. Then I'm just going to take that same London Luster highlight that we used on the face, and I'm just going to apply this to the inner corners of the eyes, and a little bit on the brow bone as well. So moving on to lips, It's Judy Time also came out with a lip palette with Pixie. I typically don't really like lip palettes because I feel like they're really sheer, but I just swatched these and they're pretty decent. I feel like once I apply them on my lips, they're probably going to look pretty good, but we will see. I don't know which one to pick. I guess I'm going to go with this one right here. And I'm just taking this on a Smith 302. Okay, so that one actually wasn't too bad. You definitely have to build it up a lot to make it a little bit more opaque. It definitely doesn't look like the color in the pan, I wouldn't say, but I put about two layers on. It took like five minutes to apply this, which is a kind of long time for me to apply lipstick, but it feels good. Like it's not really glossy. It's really comfortable. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this lightest one right here and I'm just gonna apply that to the center of my lips. All right, you guys, so that is it for the tutorial. I would say that the thing that I like the most out of this collection is the It's Judy Time eyeshadow palette. I love it. I hope that they come out with more palettes like this because it's really good. I also love these highlighters by Aspen. I think they're beautiful. The contour shade in here worked perfectly for my skin tone. Obviously, it's the only thing that I'm gonna use in this palette, so that kinda sucks, but I will use that a lot. And then the brow gel and the lower lash mascara from the Aspen collection are amazing. I love them. Pixi is just one of those brands that always surprises me with the new stuff that they come out with. Like, I never really noticed them in the drugstore a couple years ago, but since I'm on their PR list, I've noticed more and more that they're just coming out with really cool products, and their skincare too, by the way, is 
great. If you guys are looking for like affordable skincare, some of the best. Alright you guys, I'll have everything that I used listed down below in the description box if you are interested. And thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!